This is the summer in Germany. This is Bad Griesbach and today is June the 5th, 2019. This is the Knaus range for 2020. This is the live integrated 700. This van cost 90,000 euros and one third of that are the extras. So anyway, let's go inside and see what that money is about. So I'll have a quick walk, quick look through. And whilst I'm having a quick look through, and I've mentioned this in other vans, is this. This is so, oh, it's, I can't, I, it, I can't touch it, it's so hot. These things cannot be left closed uh, in heat like this. If not, this will, this will warp. And uh, now, I appreciate there may be other people who uh, don't, aren't, camper vanners or something like that around but for um, uh, and it doesn't say this in the instructions half the time but that must be at all times you cannot leave skylights closed with the internal the blackout blind down in hot weather right anyway so now I've got that one out of my system I'm going to give up on the walk oh dear look at that look at that That was pretty hot as well. Good, uh, now I've done those things, I shall point this one out as well to the Knaus here. Right, so this is the live integrated 700 MEG on a Fiat 2.3 litre engine. Right, I'll start off with the cost there, 62,000 down here. See the other one, this one here, final cost here, 90,327. That's because of all these extras, but I'll give you the, the dimensions first. So this thing here, 753 centimeters long, 232 wide externally, 218 internally, 279 high externally, 2, two meters high internally. It weighs completely empty, 2930. So uh, it gives you a reasonable amount of payload, but, but, but if there's Four of you and your adults, let's say four times 75, that's 300, plus a full tank of fuel, that is 80, plus a full tank of water, that's 120, that means you've got nothing left. So, uh, it's time to start dieting. And fortunately on my site, I have got some information on how I lost weight. Right, uh, let's have a look at some of the extras now. Uh, the, the, the biggest thing is the Fiat, uh, the engine which has been chosen, so it's an upgrade I think from 2.2 to 2.3 uh, litres, so was it 100 and, um, 110 horsepower, and this one's 160, so there's a, there's a major difference on that one. And uh, this, this thing here has got this Dometic fresh jet um, climate control thing, so that's another thing. Oh look at that! TV packet, 3,690, better off getting an internet, you can watch what you want then. Um, uh, Aldi heating, 2,544, uh, well anyway, you can see there's lots of things and they're all adding up, so they've got the live eye packet, don't know what that includes, the Fiat packet, don't know what that includes, the media packet, don't know what that includes, but they're all uh, sort of around the 2,000 mark. Um, the awning, it's 1,250 euros, it's a five meter long awning. So, uh, oh, and the front electric blind is 700. So, up front here, you can have an electric blind that comes down, uh, and you don't have to do it yourself. So, well, that's quite, uh, quite useful, I suppose. Right, well, it's got a bed up here, as you probably know if you've seen my films, I wouldn't want a bed up there at all. And uh, particularly, as I've just shown in the calculation I've done, that having four adults in a van like this doesn't do much for your payload situation. Now, uh, if we come to the lounge area, well, you've got a largish table there. Now, this... Um, I think one of the extras was the 
colour scheme internally. What do you think? Now, uh, a lady called Lynn, who makes comments, she's an in interior designer, and she makes comments about the colours and the colour scheme, so um, I'm sure she'll say her opinion on this. But, 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 I've got to point out one thing out. I'm not so keen on the, uh, on the material, I've got to point out. The reason for this is it, it feels a bit sharpish to me. A bit, I'd rather have something that when you're sort of hot, like I am right now, then you don't feel it so much. But in my opinion, and I really don't know anything about interior design, but it, I don't think the front chairs and the rear chairs match. Now, maybe they do, but I think it would look better if they were all the same colours. It's the sort of sort, sort of thing you expect um, a, a gentleman to have at home, sort of, a, you know, chairs all different colours and doesn't realise uh, that they're all different colours. Anyway, I uh, make that point there. Let's have a look at this. Don't think I really would get in, in, bang your head on that if you were sitting down there. Now you've got this here, you've got this bit here. There's a step there. That does come out, so it gives you a bit more space uh, for, your, for your headroom should you need it. Now, uh, as I stand up here though, I've got, I'm, I'm okay. Two metre headroom, so with that step there's still a little bit above me. This thing here, above, look at all that lovely light coming through. That's great. And remember not to leave those things, the, the blinds closed in hot weather. Right. I'll come round. One thing Knauss has introduced in some vans, but not in this. In here, they've got uh, these pull-out uh, 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 basket things, which I think are great. Although, in something like this, you can use to the very back of the uh, the storage area there. That's your gas. Now, I would argue that that sink could be bigger because there's space enough for it both below and above. Now obviously the bigger the sink the easier it is to get your washing up and if you're like me and you're sort of single male living in a van then you don't bother doing your washing, you only would do the washing up when you need the plates but um, uh, even for those of you who don't do things like that um, then you probably find that you'd you need more space to clean your, your, your um, pans and things like that. And uh, I appreciate it. Camp, it's a compromise in a camper. Campers are compromises. But in this case, the space. So that's one thing I think could be done. Now, I'd like to show you the soft, soft close touch test. Oh, maybe it did. Okay, we'll try this one. There's a bigger one. Of course, it would benefit by a having a, a, a size up to the top. Yeah, we'll close that. Of course, the van is at an angle, so it uh, that would have helped. Oh, sorry, it shows you how hot it is now. That's me. And <laughs> so, so I'd say a bit windy outside. But uh, I'm feeling somewhat wet. Okay. The bathroom is very large. Oh, very nice. Thank you, space in here. Space to hang your, your socks up after you've washed them. Oh, yes. Quite like that. And from here, I've got a view, there's the fridge, Thetford. And next to that, we've got some hanging space. And we've got some under here as well. Got quite a lot really in there. 
and, 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 I want, can I do it? Oh, I can't do it myself, I'm going to try. This comes up like that, then you can lift that up under it and you can access the hanging space from above, like this. From there. Pretty good, eh? Closing by itself. That gives an idea of what you can do. That's the same to the side as well. Okay, I see there's other people wanting to get in here. Volete uh, guidare? Yeah, we want, we want to drive with the car. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to have to leave. But you've got the general picture of what's going on in here. Close that. So that's for the gas, that's the garage. The garage is big enough to get two vans inside, not vans, two bikes inside. Have a look from the outside. So 90,000 is a fair whack of cash, of course, for a vehicle. And the question you have to ask yourself is, are these 30,000 in extras, is that the sort of thing you'd want? If not, you could have them without the extras and pay 30,000 less. So here you can see some of the vans in action. And if there's any vans you want to see in more detail, you can ask. Although I have filmed, I think, now everything here. So, you can either look in previous films, or uh, you'll have to wait and it'll get published eventually. This is uh, Bad Grease Back. It's a, uh, it's a nice thermal resort. Uh, it's the water is used to, it's, it's immersion uh, curing, it's you've got to sort of lie in the water or swim or something like that and apparently it does your joints good or something, so, uh, something that night. Nice. You can no longer drink the water here, um, you used to be able to but you can't any longer. Right, okay, so I hope you found that of interest, thanks for watching. Oh, just one going out.